welcome back to the channel everyone for yet another ascendant challenge video now for those guys who are looking for the eggs and lore i do have the locations of those in this video and they will be at the end with timestamps down below so you can go ahead and skip forward to those if that's what you're looking for now you are going to need a tincture of queen's foil in order to get into this portal and of course you are going to need the exotic wish ender bow in order to get those corrupted eggs and before you do this also make sure you stop at petra to pick up her weekly bounty for the ascendant challenge now this is the first ascendant challenge out of a cycle of six it can be found in affilian's rest now once you get to affilian's rest you can go ahead and pop your tincture and for this ascendant challenge, I actually use two shotguns. Now there really is no boss fight to this ascendant challenge. It's just a bunch of crystals that you need to blow up. And the shotgun makes it easier to do that. And also there's four blights that you need to break. And again, the shotguns make it easier there too. Now once in the lost sector, you can clear the ads if you want to. I normally don't. I just throw a couple grenades at them to see if I can pick up some extra ammo. And then I just kind of run by the rest and get into the portal. I just want to take a second to thank all the new subscribers. It really does mean a lot, guys, and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for all of that. Okay, now when entering the actual Ascendant Challenge, you see these crystals here. They are shielded. In order to get them unshielded, you need to destroy the four blights that are around the area. Now, it is best to think of these things are either in a circle or better yet, a square. Now, these blights are sometimes a little hard to see. But once you get one, you basically either want to go left or go right and just keep running in a circle around the outside until you get all of them down. Now if you're thinking of this ascendant challenge in a square, there's going to be one blight in all four corners. Now if you're running two shotguns, it makes it really easy to take these blights out. I run the perfect paradox for the primary and the Aquilos for a secondary because they are the faster shooting. Now, I also want to mention there are three of those Ascendant Knights in this challenge, and they can take you out pretty quick if you are a lower light level, so you want to try to keep moving as best you can. And I just wanted to make another quick announcement, guys. I just ordered some new parts for my PC. Hopefully they should be coming in by this weekend. And once I get them, I am going to start streaming, and it's probably going to end up being on YouTube, and what I'm going to be doing is more or less a community help. Now, different days, I'll probably be doing different things. Like one day, I might be running Strictly Nightfalls for all the guys watching. You can go ahead and join in, and I'll get you guys through it with the 100k score. And then another day, I might just be running Forges for anybody who wants to join in and needs help getting those done. And then quite possibly the Whisper or whatever else I see that the community needs help getting done. So if you'd be interested in that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date on when I'll be getting that started. And then back to the Sand Challenge, guys. Once you get those four Blights, you can see these crystals aren't immune anymore. They become unshielded. Now running around with a shotgun makes it pretty easy to break them. Now if you miss one like I did there, you don't want to stop and get it. You want to just keep running in a circle because those three knights are still here and they can still take you out pretty quick. Now once all the crystals are down, the ads will despawn, the chest will come in, and you can go ahead and get it. Now moving on guys, let's get the first corrupted egg. Now right where the chest is, you can see that you want to go left. And you're going to see this circle platform, and then you want to get to that circle platform, and then you're going to take a right. And then if you look off to the right, your egg will be sitting right there. Now you want to jump up after shooting that egg onto these steps, and then you're going to run back to the end, and there's going to be a crystal here that you can jump up on top of. Now once on the crystal, you want to turn around and look up. There's going to be a ledge up there that you can jump onto. And once up on this ledge, you run to the other end, and you're going to be able to jump to the statues. And then once you get to the first, you're going to look over and jump to the second statue, and there will be your um, gar bones. Now for the second and third egg, you want to make your way back to where the chest was. Now the chest probably despawned by now, but just find that statue in the middle. Now going from the statue, you're going to want to take a right, and where this platform is going to kind of bend off to the right like a U-shape, you're going to follow it around and then your egg is going to be sitting right here behind this platform. 
Now for the third and final egg, you're going to want to turn left, jump across that little ledge, and then run to the end, look down to the left, and there is the egg. Now thanks for watching everyone, hope this video helps you out. If it did, go ahead and give it a like and do covers the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more D2 content like this coming out daily.